Anyway, <coughs> so we just go into download extend. We're going to install Drupal. So we have to download Drupal um, 7.3.1. And my internet's a bit slow. And we're going to download this archive file. And when it comes down, it'll look like this. And basically, we're going to grab all that. And we're going to take it. I'm using WAMP at the moment. And on my WAMP server, my project file is localhost slash real estate. But I'm going to drag those over there, and it's going to on archive. And also, before we get started, we're also going to need a database. So mine's called real estate, and I'm going to create a database in PHP my admin on my WAMP. Um, if you don't know how to use WAMP or use something else, that's fine, as long as you have a development environment that you like. Okay, so now that that's um, installed over, we can refresh this. And I'm just going to select the standard in install. Um, I'm going to select English, that's fine. And I'm going to type in my database name and root give it a password. You could set advanced options like port prefixes and stuff like that, but I'm going to leave it just this as it is. And then we're going to get this installing the screen. And it's uh, chugging away here at installing like some of the default modules. And we're going to, now, now that that's kind of installed, we're going to throw in re like the site name. Let's we'll call it my real estate um, <coughs> site email address. This would be your email address, but I'm going to use that. Um, you at your domain.com sounds fun. <coughs> Username admin and you at your domain. Change this stuff to your details, and my password is going to be admin. Why not? Because <coughs> it's my local environment, and it's no way needs to be secure. Default country, I'm going to set mine to Australia because that's where I'm at at the moment. And I'm going to set mine down to Sydney. Um, check for updates automatically. Make sure that's checked. Receive email notifications. Um, I would do that because of security. <coughs> updates. You get notified. And then we get, you know, Drupal and stuff. Um, visit your new site. So right out of the box, we have the, the default. Um, Drupal system, so we're basically ready to go ahead and, and start to um, change this. So um, now, now that uh, that we have it installed, I'm just going to go to the modules page, and now we're going to st start to discuss setting this up for uh, development. Um, I personally do not like the toolbar or like this overlay module like some people like it but I use it to check this stuff on my phone a lot I'm just gonna tick that off and also this toolbar up here because I'm gonna replace it with a different module um, I'm gonna just save that configuration yep and we're back at admin modules now um, we can install new modules by clicking the install new mo modules and going to drupal.org, finding a URL and pasting it in. Um, but I just find it's way easier to 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 just you know upload them um, to your modules file, which gets me into um, best practices for Drupal. Right now you can see the file structure. Oops, see the file structure of you know it has a modules file and that's the core modules it has a it has a themes module and that's the core um, modules you never ever want to put um, your own like add-on modules in that folder or in that folder because generally if you're doing an update they could get overridden so generally where we want to put our our, um, our own custom themes and our own module add-on modules is in sites all um, folder and then it has another folder called modules or themes so we want to put our new modules in there so let's go ahead back to um, drupal.org and we're going to just hit download and extend and I'm going to click over to the modules field and there's going to be a massive list of modules that we're going to install but yep we're going to need views and it's dependencies 
So I'm just going to download that. We'll roll on down cast tools. We need it. Save token. Yep. Oh, not zip. We need path auto. Good for URLs. Yeah, I'll discuss what these do later, but but um, libraries API, we're going to need that. Yeah, you just roll on down. Date picker, eh, um, not right now. Web form, yep. Administration menu, now that's the, I want that. So you just go and download an entry API. You need that as a dependency for views. Um, Google Analytics, no, not right now. jQuery update, yes. Backup and migrate, that's a good one, um, but we don't really need that. Rules, um, not right now. View slideshow, potentially, later. Capture, nope. Features, nope. So we just go through, uh, like the full, uh, as I said, the full list of modules that, that um, th uh, will be available on, on the site. But now I want to just uh, get, you know, start setting it up for development. So I'm just going to type in. Uh, two modules that I really need schema so we're going into project schema now this um, is really good for helping to describe tables if you make your own custom t tables with Drupal um, to help make uh, install files and, stu and stuff like that so there's schema and then we want Drupal build Delve, um, which gives us a good, uh, helps us with with theming and module development. Um, <clears throat> so let's download those. Now, as I said, I'm only going to do this um, once, and then I'm then you get the idea. So we have this sites all modules folder, yeah, and we just downloaded a whole bunch of modules. So so basically, Delve, we're going to put them in there, right? And now I'm going to pause this and go through and put all of those in there. Now we got all those in there. Now let's install them. So I'm going to go back to my modules. I'm going to roll on down. I'm going to hide the core for a minute. <coughs> Administration menu and development tools. Yep. You can have toolbar style if you want. That's completely up to you. Um, cast tools, schema. I want delve, delve generate. API, entry tokens, libraries, path to, token, jQuery update, date, views, and views API, and web form. So I'm just going to hit save. And now we see everything has been saved, and my admin menu is working, and that's great. Okay, so basically, um, <coughs> basically, um, why we installed um, these two modules will become apparent a little bit later, um, like schema and, and delve. But um, we will show you that a little bit later. So basically, that's the understanding of installing new modules. Um, if you wanted to un uninstall something, you could untick them. Um, and then if you really wanted to, uh, it doesn't really uninstall them. You have to go through an extra process so you can get rid of the reference to the database table. Which I will show you right there. Okay.